the bulk of the 2019 NFL draft process is set to go underway here shortly, as the NFL Combine is right around the corner. From there, we have tons of pro days and private workouts to sort through. Free agency starts and trades become official in March, the league new year, and the league is bound to get shaken up big time by a deep free agency pool on defense. The Baltimore Ravens should be a very active team this offseason, but one thing remains crystal, the need for a wide receiver has never been greater than now, and there's no better time to add talent than this offseason. The 2019 NFL Draft in particular has plenty of awesome receivers. The 2019 NFL Draft has some crafty wide receivers like DK. Metcalf, Marchese Brown, and Nikhil Harry, but also maintained solid depth in the later rounds as well. For the Ravens, the team went all-in during the 2018 free agency period by signing John Brown, Michael Crabtree, and Willie Sneed, but the team failed to add any guys from 2018 NFL Draft's wide receiver group. The Ravens could have selected playmakers like Calvin Ridley or DJ Moore, but instead passed on them. Baltimore cannot afford to make the same mistakes again in 2019, not if they plan to build around Lamar Jackson. The team successfully added an influx of talent at the tight end position and shored up the right side of the offensive line with the addition of Orlando Brown Jr., but the Ravens still need young player at receiver for Jackson to truly shine and flourish. In the 2019 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens can go a variety of routes for adding talent to an already solid roster, which could leave wide receiver as a second or third option. That's okay, because this year's group is deep, which is precisely why we're about to dive in and take a look at all the wide receiver pool in each round of this upcoming draft. Let's kick things off with round 1 and my personal favorite wide receiver, page 2 TEMPE, as, September 9th wide receiver Nikhil Harry. Pass against cornerback Ron Smith. Photo by Christian Peterson, Getty Images The first round of the 2019 NFL Draft has plenty of talented wide receivers to look at in round 1. Whether or not the gym pictures scare you, DK. Metcalf has a large claim to the top spot in this class. Marchese, Hollywood, Brown has the game-breaking speed that gives you flashbacks of Deshaun Jackson in his prime. Other guys who have late round one buzz are AJ. Brown and Kelvin Harmon. For Baltimore Ravens, Brown is enticing not only because of his speed, but because this is historically the type of receiver the team falls in love with. However, Nikhil Harry is your top dog for the 2019 NFL Draft, and is the guy Baltimore should target. With his elite size at 6 feet 4 inches 213 lbs. And incredible skills with the ball in his hands, Harry gives the Ravens offense everything it needs to take the next step. If you aren't aware by now, I am the biggest Nikhil Harry fan in the whole wide world. If you want further breakdowns of him, just go and check out some of my other 2019 NFL Draft articles and I guarantee you he'll be mentioned. With that being said, I won't waste too much breath spewing information I've said a million times. The bum line with Harry is he's a big target with a large catch radius. This is something the Ravens need to add for Lamar Jackson as he grows and matures at quarterback. When you have a quarterback who struggles with accuracy, get him a big body who can catch everything and let them build each other's confidence and chemistry with each other. Harry is too smart of a pick here, and hopefully Baltimore and Eric DeCosti have learned from their past missteps and make Harry the pick. Page 3 ATHENS, GAW, in November 10, Riley Ridley. Photo by Scott Cunningham, Getty Images, if are, like me, or one of the many Baltimore Ravens fans who are upset the team passed on the chance to draft Calvin Ridley last year, you'll be happy with the news I'm about to share with you. Calvin's brother, Riley, is entering the 2019 NFL Draft class as one of its the most overlooked wide receiver prospects. What Calvin Ridley was able to accomplish as a rookie with the Atlanta Falcons was masterful. The 24-year-old receiver caught 64 passes for 821 yards and 10 touchdowns. 
with Julio Jones and Mohamed Sanu lined up with him, the three dominated for the Falcons through the air, and Ridley was a day one impact. For Riley Ridley, it could be more of the same for his future team. Riley Ridley is a similar player to pro Calvin Ridley. Riley is a silky smooth route runner with red zone capabilities, catching 13 touchdowns on 69 career receptions. Riley wasn't overly used in the Georgia Bulldogs' offense until 2018, and when given the opportunity he shined. Because of the scheme that the Bulldogs used, Riley was always a third or fourth option. It's hard not to be when you have the ridiculous talent pool the team has at running back. This is starting to sound familiar, isn't it? With the Baltimore Ravens, Riley Ridley would insert himself into a nearly identical role for the team. With the run-heavy style of play the team wants to adopt, Ridley could become more of a secondary contributor, however, his skill set he displayed as a junior would indicate that he can be just as good as his brother was in 2018. Riley Ridley could be Baltimore's ex-receiver they've been desperately searching for, and he'd give them a high-character player with a Bulldogs mentality, see what I did there, if the Ravens were to trade back into the second round and miss a chance for a guy like Harry, Riley Ridley would be my preferred target. Page 4 AMES, IA, September 9th, Wide Receiver Hakeem Butler The Iowa Hawkeyes won 44-41 over the Iowa State Cyclones. Photo by David Purdy, Getty Images, remember early when I mentioned that a cure for inaccurate quarterbacks is to give them big-bodied targets, take that statement and apply it to Hakeem Butler. Butler is a massive man to put it lightly, standing at an insane 6 feet 6 inches 225 lbs. Butler is the receiver that you have already generalized him as, a huge body who goes up and snags touchdowns. Is he a savvy route runner? No, not particularly, but he doesn't have to be when he can simply outjump his competition. If you need an example of the kind of production Butler can give you, just look at his box scores here. The man scored 18 touchdowns in 34 career games while averaging almost 20.0 YPR. While I would almost always advise against box score scouting, Butler's production comes from his big frame and his tape and numbers match together perfectly. If his numbers are so great, why isn't he being valued higher in the 2019 NFL Draft? There are plenty of reasons, but for him personally it's the fact that he has stone hands. For all the great plays Butler makes, he has mental lapses and drops easy passes. I know that's probably turning some Ravens fans off, but he'd come cheaper than his clone, Michael Crabtree, and is much younger and can learn to outgrow these bad habits. Butler is no means perfect, but he's the kind of boundary receiver Lamar Jackson could use to grow with. Butler is a fantastic red zone monster for the team and could lead the Ravens in touchdown receptions as a rookie. Page 5 WACO, TX, October 28, Lil Jordan Humphrey. Texas 138-7, photo by Ron Jenkins, Getty Images, surprise, surprise, another big-bodied wide receiver for the Baltimore Ravens. Are you noticing a trend yet? You should be, because fixing Lamar Jackson's accuracy issues will be much easier once he has huge targets to make up for inaccurate passes. More from Ebony Bird somewhere down in Texas is a 6 feet 4 inches 225 lbs receiver named Lil Jordan Humphrey. Humphrey lined up opposite Colin Johnson, another massive receiver, with the Texas Longhorns, giving the team two small forwards at the wide receiver spot. Humphrey would come to Baltimore and continue to add big-time height at the receiver spot, only further making Jackson's job easier in the passing game. While Humphrey lacks any sort of deep speed, he still maintains good skills after the catch and can be a crafty kind of playmaker. With the ball in his hands, Humphrey's long build makes him a long strider and he can simply gallop his way down the field and through his competition. The 2019 NFL Draft has wide receivers aplenty, but the best ones come in the form of bigger, box-out kind of players. For the Baltimore Ravens, this is more than a welcome addition to the team. 
If the Ravens elect to pass on a receiver early in the 2019 NFL Draft, Humphrey would be right up their ally in terms of a guy they like to look at. Matching Humphrey with last year's fourth-round pick Jaleel Scott will give Jackson a lot of height to throw to, and the youth for them to grow together for the long term. Page 6 Use your arrows to browse Morgantown, WV, October 25th David Sills v. Photo by Justin K. Aller, Getty Images, what do you do when you're a 6 feet 4 inches quarterback but don't have the skills necessary to be a starting quarterback? You transition to wide receiver and catch touchdowns like it's nobody's business. That would describe our next candidate for wide receivers in the 2019 NFL Draft, David Sills v. from West Virginia. Of all the receivers available in the 2019 NFL Draft, none of them are quite the red zone monster that Sills is. Over the last two seasons alone Sills has a ridiculous 33 touchdown receptions. Sills never eclipsed 1,000-yard season during his stint with the Mountaineers, but it's pretty hard to complain with the elite-level production he gave them. The most attractive trait about Sills was his chemistry and trust that he built up at West Virginia with his quarterback, Will Greer. The two of them became two peas in a pod, and that was what contributed to their success together. Greer was a great passer in college and the fact that he knew he could always put the ball up for Sills to come down with speaks volumes about their relationship. This is exactly what the Baltimore Ravens need to add for Lamar Jackson and the offense. It's already a bonus that Sills is a big target to throw it, but it becomes that much more attractive that he can create such a balanced harmony with his quarterback. Giving Jackson that kind of guy would be better than anything else for him. When quarterbacks have targets they trust, they typically turn into dynamic duos. Thinking about Joe Flacco and Dennis Pitta. If those two could reach that level, the Ravens would be ecstatic. Use your arrows to browse.